After the Lockheed SR-71 was withdrawn from circulation in 1998 and replaced by more traditional reconnaissance aircraft, the best spy plane of all time left a significant gap in intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance aviation roles. Since then, Lockheed Martin has been rumored to be developing the SR-72, also known as Son of Blackbird. The aircraft will have technology that has never been seen before, and it is believed that it might not see the light of day until it is ready for mass production. The mysterious project has always been shrouded in mystery, and there had been no news about it going back to 2018. However, a peculiar occurrence in 2022 brought it back into the limelight, as China reportedly thought they had spotted the mysterious aircraft and repositioned their spy satellites to hunt it down. Blackbird The Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird strategic reconnaissance aircraft was the fastest warplane to take to the skies and the ultimate spy plane of the Cold War. Made with admirable engineering and efficiency by the legendary Lockheed Martin Corporation, the Blackbird was always one step ahead of all potential threats, flying 50,000 feet above commercial airliners. First introduced in 1966, the stealthy spy plane was specifically designed to absorb, not deflect, enemy radar signals, remaining hidden from prying foreign eyes, despite being over 107 feet long. Painted in inky black to dissipate heat, the color lent the aircraft its nickname, Blackbird. Ever since the aircraft's retirement from the Air Force at the turn of the century, Aviation specialists and enthusiasts have wondered when the Blackbird will be succeeded by a new generation, higher speed aircraft. Hypersonic There's evidence that suggests that work on a complete or partial successor to the Blackbird was attempted before, but no effort ever materialized. In 2013, however, it all changed when Lockheed Martin's advanced development program, Skunkworks, announced its plans to develop a new affordable hypersonic strike platform, Intelligence, Surveillance, and Reconnaissance, or ISR, aircraft. Named SR-72, but colloquially referred to as Son of Blackbird, the twin-engine aircraft is designed to be hypersonic, doubling the speed of its predecessor. The project is part of an almost decade-long partnership with Aerojet Rocketdyne, an American manufacturer of rocket and hypersonic systems for space, defense, and commercial applications. To power the aircraft from standstill to Mach 6 Plus, the team is believed to have developed a method to integrate an off-the-shelf turbine with a scramjet. Speaking on the aircraft's potential hypersonic abilities, Rob Weiss, Lockheed Martin's executive vice president and Skunk Works general manager, stated in 2013, quote, We've been saying hypersonics is two years away for the last 20 years, but all I can say is the technology is mature, and we, along with DARPA and the services, are working hard to get that capability into the hands of our warfighters as soon as possible. NASA Contract NASA awarded Lockheed Martin a contract in December of 2014 to study the possibility of building the son of Blackbird's propulsion system using already existing turbine engine technologies. The almost $1 million contract funded a thorough study to determine the feasibility of a turbine-based combined cycle propulsion, putting together an already existing turbine engine with a very low Mach ignition dual-mode ramjet. In 2016, two years after the contract with NASA was signed, Lockheed Martin CEO Marilyn Hewson announced that the team was on the verge of a technological breakthrough. The announcement seemed to imply that the technology would allow the conceptual SR-72 hypersonic plane to reach Mach 6 speeds, while also costing less than $1 billion in construction. Current plans call for the full-scale flight research vehicle to begin flights in the mid-2020s, followed by a demonstrator that will be equipped with two extremely powerful engines. And if Lockheed Martin's timeline holds, a mass-produced son of Blackbird could take to the skies 
as early as 2030. Son of Blackbird. The SR-71 spy plane's retirement left a considerable gap between surveillance satellites, manned aircraft, and unmanned aerial vehicles made for strike or intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance roles. Since then, anti-satellite weapons and counter-stealth technology have also been developed, leading Lockheed to begin working on an aircraft to bridge all those gaps. However, the son of Blackbird's developmental program has been cloaked in secrecy. So far, the project is being built as a full-scale flight research vehicle. Through this demonstrator, the engineering team will test the potential of the new engine platform. Expected to be the same size as an F-22 fighter, the model could potentially be a piloted craft or an unmanned drone. In addition, the aircraft would also be capable of strike missions, as it was initially envisioned as an ISR program. Advanced subsonic or supersonic aircraft and unmanned vehicles, even stealthy ones, are not expected to survive, but the son of Blackbird is. Still, no payload capabilities have been specified, as current ones would be insufficient on an aircraft flying at Mach 6 and up to 80,000 feet high, requiring hundreds of miles to turn. Also, due to the expected top speeds, the type will need a new sensor and weapons explicitly created to operate at Mach 6. There is also speculation that the aircraft could be piloted as a research warplane, capable of carrying a large compartment of clandestine strike weapons and hypersonic missiles to bomb targets from the stratosphere. Fooling China If any aircraft manufacturer could make a mock aircraft seem real enough to fool the Chinese military, it would be Lockheed Martin's legendary Skunk Works division. In 2020, Chinese satellite operators had to do a double-take when they spotted an aircraft similar to the SR-72 in a hangar. Thinking it was real, the shocked Chinese intelligence officials repositioned their spy satellites to take several photographs of the seemingly menacing aircraft and hunt it down. Still, when said aircraft was featured in the 2022 film Top Gun Maverick, the Chinese realized they'd been fooled. In reality, the aircraft was a full-size mock-up of the Dark Star, a fictitious warplane rumored to be based on the son of Blackbird. During production, the film's creators worked hand-in-hand -hand with Lockheed Martin Skunk Works to create a fictional yet believable aircraft, scaring China in the process and leading them to lose previously agreed funding. Secrecy or Failure Despite Lockheed's and the United States Air Force's announcement about a scaled demonstrator of the son of Blackbird in 2013, both entities have remained mostly silent. Little is known about any progress, and the SR-72 son of Blackbird Mach 6 Wonder could be anywhere in the development process, from its digital design phase to its prototype one. When reached for comment by the press, neither the Air Force nor Lockheed Martin even confirmed the existence of a functioning hypersonic spy plane. Some analysts suggest the project might have been shelved, possibly because of Russia's 2018 testing of the Kajal hypersonic missile. Such foreign technology caused the United States to refocus its priorities, leading to other projects potentially taking precedence over the SR-72, which uses hypersonic technology for intelligence missions. Nevertheless, so much secrecy around the project might also suggest that it is being carried out under a black budget, as part of the Department of Defense's most classified projects, just like its predecessor. If that assumption is correct, the lack of news on the SR-72 is most likely deliberate. With a tight lid on stealth development, the son of Blackbird might very well take to the skies one of these days without anyone even knowing. Thank you for watching Dark Tech. If you enjoyed our video, don't hesitate to give us a like. And to learn more about the development and future of several defense projects, subscribe to this and all our Dark Documentaries channels. Stay tuned for more.